So you're gonna wear red lipstick? It's more plum. Red to me. I had on red, but then I took it off. And then brown for the plum. Kind of provocative. You okay? Honestly, very uneasy. How about you? I'm gonna throw up. I have a knot the size of Texas in my stomach. We'll just call it off. This is a very bad idea. He's almost here. He can turn around. That would be heartless. He'll survive. Babe, you know how I get. You should have seen me before our first date. I was a mess. I think I almost threw up. Get my nails down to the nubs. You really like this guy. I just met him. I don't know him to say that. You just compared him to me. No, not at all. Not like that. You said you felt the same way. Babe, I haven't been on a first date since our first date. And the fact that I'm having this conversation with my husband in and of itself is mind-blowing and crazy and uneasy, and my nerves are getting the best of me. about this one? That's a house dress. It's cute. I haven't worn that outside in five years. I don't know how to operate here. Neither do I. I don't want this to come between us. It won't. Never thought in a million years I'd be letting my wife go out on a date. I know. Can you help me with this? Does it ever get stuck? <sighs> okay. It's stuck. Just try to get it up. Don't help it. It won't go. Okay, suck in your stomach a little bit, and I'll try again. Okay, a little bit more. I am sucking my belly against my spine. A little bit more, can you? Oh, this was a year ago when I bought it. I was against some weight. Girls are spending the night over at mom's. It's him. Hello? Hi. You here? Okay, I'll meet you downstairs. Okay.
He's not gonna come up to get you? No, I didn't think that made much sense. A man should come to the door. Babe, I told him I'd meet him downstairs. I'm gonna go down and meet him, and I'll be home by 11. That's reasonable, right? Yeah, 12 at the latest. Okay. 12 at the latest, all right? Don't wait up for me. Oh, I'll wait up. I'm all right. Kena. Yeah, babe. Tell him to come up. What? What? I, I don't understand. For what? I don't understand. I want to meet him. So, what do you want, like a drink? Something, water, juice? Uh, if you two have had one, sure. I'm definitely gonna have one. Um, babe? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, red wine, white, I think it's a Chardonnay, and rum. Red, if you don't mind. You know what I like. My fucking dog, what is he doing? Mind if I sit? No, nah, man, go ahead. Sit. Nice area. Lots of culture. The neighborhood, I mean. You can tell someone took their time building. These homes are from the 20s. Um, we're thinking about, um, thank you. We're eventually thinking about buying a house in the neighborhood. Let me ask you something. Kina's my wife. We're married. We have two kids. She's not leaving her family. There's no question there. Um, babe, can we go talk right quick? Oh, no. All right. We don't need to talk. I really think we should, because I don't like what's going on here. I'm curious. Why would you want to go out on a date with my wife when you could go out with a single woman? Is this a problem? I mean, I was under the impression that you two have an understanding. She's my wife, man. Do you understand that? He understands. He knows. I told him. You told him. I need to hear from him. Josh, everyone understands everything, OK? We got that settled. I think we should be on our way, OK? I have my cell on me if you should need anything, and I'll be home around 11 or so, I think. Kina, give me a second, please. Excuse me? I understand this is my first time dating a married woman. I told Kina. And when she told me she was married, I was blown away. He didn't know that I was married when he asked me. Is this the idea of circumstance? Maybe not. But let me tell you why I said yes. 
Anybody with eyes can see that this woman is beautiful. Thank you. That's very nice of you. She's gorgeous, right? I'm no exception. I can't deny my attraction to her, but that's not why I said yes. No. I haven't felt this kind of connection to anybody in a long time, and life is short. I'd be kicking myself in the ass if I didn't at least try and get to know her no matter what the circumstances or the outcome. No matter what. And I mean no disrespect to her or you. All right. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. <laughs> Josh, everyone is good. Everything's good. Yes. I understand she is your wife. Then we understand. You call me if you need anything. I think I'll be fine. <laughs>